Recently, Robert Downey Jr. shared an extraordinary story of redemption and friendship involving another Hollywood legend, Mel Gibson. During the darkest time of Robert's career and personal life, Mel stepped in to offer his support when no one else would. In the face of Hollywood turning its back on Robert, Mel Gibson became his savior. When I couldn't get sober, he told me not to give up hope, and he urged me to find my faith. He said that if I hugged the cactus long enough, I'd become a man of some humility, and that my life would take on a new meaning. Uh, I've been saying, but there's a lot of occasions now around this time where you, you get to bump into the, mm -hmm. the people, and it was an interesting story with Denzel. We used to have the same agent. The lowest point in Robert Downey Jr.'s life, as he described it, was the year he spent behind bars in 1999 due to a DUI arrest. However, with Mel Gibson's intervention and support, Robert was able to embark on a path of transformation and find a way to rebuild his life and career. During a recent candid conversation on Dax Shepard's Armchair Expert podcast, Robert Downey Jr. bravely shared the heart-wrenching details of his struggle with substance abuse and the unfortunate year he spent behind bars as a result of a DUI arrest and cocaine possession charges. He openly discussed what he viewed as the most devastating event in his life, which occurred in 1999 when he had to endure a period of imprisonment connected to a DUI arrest while also being in possession of illicit drugs. Throughout the podcast, the renowned Iron Man star delved into his past issues with substance abuse and shed light on how he felt he was over-sentenced by an angered judge, leading to his confinement in North Kern State Prison in Delano, California. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Robert revealed the emotional toll and formidable challenges he faced during this trying phase, exposing the stark realities of his time at North Kern State Prison, which he was sent to after failing to comply with court-ordered drug tests tied to a cocaine possession charge. This environment became his reality just two weeks after he failed to appear at several court-ordered drug tests, ultimately leading to the circumstances that would define one of the most challenging chapters in Robert Downey Jr.'s life. He recounted that just two weeks later, he found himself in a place called Delano, which served as a receiving center where they determined the inmates' final destinations. Robert Downey Jr. described it as arguably the most perilous place he had ever experienced because there were no specific designations for individuals based on their criminal level. Everyone was mixed together. He expressed that the atmosphere at the center exuded an evil presence and likened it to being in an extremely dangerous neighborhood with no opportunities but abundant threats. He had to exercise extreme caution, warning that everyone would attempt to steal from you, so he advised keeping a watchful eye on your belongings. The Hollywood star portrayed the environment as a desolate and hopeless one, feeling akin to being stranded on a distant planet with no means of return. Stepping onto the prison yard, he realized that he would be spending more than a year there, and he likened it to being marooned on an alien world until some unforeseeable cosmic alignment allowed him to leave. Robert also revealed how he managed to survive the experience, explaining that the inmates were somehow programmed to adjust rapidly to seemingly impossible circumstances. While acknowledging that there could have been worse outcomes, he firmly believed that going to prison was the single worst thing that had ever happened to him, based on his own experiences and knowledge. The downward spiral for Robert Downey Jr. began in 1996 when he was arrested for driving under the influence. During the arrest, police discovered heroin, cocaine, crack, and a .357 Magnum in his possession, which ultimately led to the events that unfolded in 1999. After missing several court-ordered drug tests tied to his arrest, he was sentenced to spend three years in a California substance abuse treatment facility and state prison. However, due to an early release in 2000 on the condition of posting bail, he ended up serving only one year. Little did he know at the time that he would someday be the one helping another person in need. It wasn't until Mel Gibson found himself going through a similar ordeal as Robert Downey Jr. that the realization struck. Mel was the one who saved him. During a powerful speech at the American Cinematheque Awards, Downey Jr. publicly advocated for Gibson's redemption and forgiveness from Hollywood. And in doing so, he shared the story of how Gibson's support and encouragement had been instrumental in his own transformation. Gibson had taken a chance on him when no one else would, providing unwavering support during his struggle with sobriety and urging him not to lose hope, but to find his faith. In the documentary, Senior, it was revealed that Mel Gibson had battled with addiction for many years, and it took him two decades to finally get his life in order. Growing up with his father, Robert Downey Sr., who was also an addict, had its challenges, but Gibson's determination to turn his life around was evident. 
Throughout his journey to sobriety, Robert Downey Jr. always credited his wife, Susan Levin, for playing a crucial role in helping him get on the path of recovery. Her unwavering support and understanding were vital components of his journey toward a healthier and more fulfilling life. However, Susan Levin wasn't the only one who offered a helping hand. Mel Gibson played a significant role in supporting Robert Downey Jr., not only in his journey to sobriety, but also when he faced difficulty landing work in the late 90s. Due to Downey's troubled past, production companies were hesitant to cast him without completion bonds to ensure the projects would be finished. In a remarkable gesture, Gibson personally paid for Downey Jr.'s insurance bond, enabling him to work on the 2003 film The Singing Detective. Thanks to Gibson's support, Downey Jr. was able to make his comeback in the industry. In 2011, during the 25th American Cinematheque Awards honoring Robert Downey Jr., he asked Mel Gibson to present his award and use the opportunity to advocate for Gibson's own redemption. Gibson had faced his own downward spiral in 2006 when he was arrested for driving under the influence and made anti-Semitic remarks during the incident. Additionally, his personal life had further complications when he was accused of domestic abuse by Oksana Grigorieva, to whom he later pled guilty to misdemeanor battery. Moreover, recordings emerged with Gibson making racist remarks about black people and other hateful statements about Grigorieva. Despite his own struggles, Mel Gibson had been a source of support and encouragement for Robert Downey Jr., and in turn, Downey Jr. used the awards ceremony to publicly stand by Gibson and call for understanding and forgiveness for the then-disgraced actor. Both actors had faced their share of challenges, but their bond of friendship and mutual support endured through difficult times. Ava Gibson faced a similar challenging situation and was eventually shunned from Hollywood. However, during that difficult period, Mel Downey extended a helping hand to her. In gratitude, she decided to support him in return. During his acceptance speech, Downey began by expressing why he asked Mel to present the award to him. It was because, when he was struggling to overcome his addiction, Mel Gibson offered him unwavering support and encouraged him not to lose hope. He advised Downey to find faith, one that was rooted in forgiveness, irrespective of whether it matched Gibson's beliefs or anyone else's. Downey Jr. then shared a heartwarming story with the audience about how he couldn't find work at one point, and it was Gibson who came to his rescue. Mel offered him the lead role in a movie that was originally meant for Gibson himself. Moreover, Gibson also provided Downey with a place to stay and food during that challenging time. He pushed Downey to embrace even the darkest aspects of himself, a process he referred to as hugging the cactus, which ultimately helped turn his life around. In a speech, Robert Downey emphasized that during his tough period, Mel Gibson's support meant the world to him. In return, all Gibson asked was that Downey Jr. pay it forward by helping someone else. And now, after several years, Downey Jr. is grateful to have the opportunity to be there for others, just as Mel Gibson was there for him. During the American Cinematheque Award ceremony, as Robert Downey Jr. was accepting his award, he took the opportunity to extend his help to Mel Gibson. Reflecting on the assistance he received from Gibson in the past, Downey Jr. acknowledged that at the time, he couldn't have imagined that he would be the one standing there asking for forgiveness. Keeping Gibson's history of support in mind, he earnestly appealed to Hollywood to forgive Gibson and grant him a second chance. Downey Jr. passionately implored those present to join him in forgiving his friend's past mistakes, using a touch of humor by saying, unless you are completely without sin, in which case you picked the wrong industry. He urged the industry to offer Gibson the same clean slate they gave him, enabling him to continue making valuable contributions to their collective art without shame. Concluding his speech, Downey Jr. expressed that Gibson had endured enough hardship, referencing the metaphorical hugging the cactus they both experienced. The bond between the two legends has remained strong since Mel Gibson's support helped Robert Downey Jr. turn his life around. Even after Downey Jr. welcomed his daughter, they remained close friends, and Gibson's influence on his life and career remained undeniable. Downey Jr. shared that he was in touch with Gibson and expressed his willingness to work on an Iron Man four inches under Gibson's direction, back when fans were eagerly clamoring for such a project. The enduring friendship and mutual respect between Robert Downey Jr. and Mel Gibson continue to flourish, a testament to the impact they've had on each other's lives. When asked about working on Iron Man 4, Robert Downey Jr. expressed his willingness to do it only if Mel Gibson were to direct the film. In response to Downey Jr.'s request, Gibson playfully asserted, I'm pretty good at directing, I think I got some statutes for it, I think I can do it. 
Regarding the friendship between these two Hollywood legends, it is undoubtedly strong and impactful. Mel Gibson's support played a crucial role in Robert Downey Jr.'s life and career turnaround. Their enduring bond and mutual respect are evident, and it serves as a reminder of the positive influence they've had on each other's lives. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.